Let us look at an example of time value of money. You buy a house for rupees 5 lakh and immediately make cash payment of rupees 1 lakh. You finance the balance amount at 12% for 20 years with equal annual installments. How much are the annual installments? So basically you went to buy a house and you were told that the house costs rupees 5 lakh. Now you decided that you can afford to pay 1 lakh rupees out of your pocket. So basically cost of house is 5 lakh rupees. Now you have made a down payment or cash payment from your pocket which is 1 lakh rupees. So remaining amount is 4 lakh rupees. So this is the remaining amount. Now you decide that you cannot pay this amount immediately. So you approach a bank and ask them to provide you a loan for this amount. The bank says that we will give you this much money at an interest rate of 12% and the entire amount needs to be repaid back to the bank in 20 years with equal annual installments. Now we have to find out what is the annual installment that you need to pay. Loan is 20 years, 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on and then 19 and 20. The loan amount or the present value is 4 lakh rupees. The rate of interest is 12% and we need to find out what is the annuity amount. Now again the installments are equal so it will be A throughout the time frame. Now here I am assuming that the installments are being paid at the end of each year. So now this becomes a case of an ordinary annuity. What is an ordinary annuity? First let us recall what is an annuity. So an annuity is a series of equal payments made at fixed intervals for a specified number of periods. And if these payments occur at the end of each year, the annuity is called an ordinary annuity. So we have the present value, we have the value of i and we need to find the value of a. We have the value of n which is the tenure. Now there are multiple methods of solving this. Like we can use the formula for present value of an ordinary annuity or we can use the table for present value factors of an ordinary annuity or we can use the financial calculator. All these methods have been discussed in the previous videos for present value of an ordinary annuity. So for the purposes of solving this example here, I am going to use the formula for present value of an ordinary annuity which is a into bracket 1 divided by i minus 1 divided by i into 1 plus i to the power n. So we have PV equals to 4 lakh rupees, i is equal to 12 percent, n is equal to 20 and a 
is to be found out. So let us plug in these values. So or let's bring a on one side and everything else on the other side. So a is equal to 4 lakh divided by 1 divided by i which is 0 0.12 minus 1 divided by 0 0.12 into 1.12 so 1 plus 0 0.12 is 1.12 to the power n which is 20 so let's solve this using a scientific calculator so let's first solve this portion here so 1.12 x to the power y 20 into 0.12 is equal to and then 1 by x and this is negative plus 0 0.12 1 by x so this is 7.469 now again this is 1 by x because this is in the denominator and then multiply this by 4 0 0 0 0 0 so a turns out to be 5 3 5 5 1 point 5 rupees so this is the annual installment that you need to pay to the bank for the next 20 years. And that is because you have taken a loan of 4 lakh rupees from the bank. Now just out of curiosity, let's find out 53,551.5 into 20 as to how much total amount are we paying to the bank. So 53,551. 5 into 20 so total amount that you are going to pay is 107130 which is 10 lakhs 71,030 rupees now out of curiosity I also want to find out what is the future value of this amount after 20 years at 12% rate of interest so basically 4 lakh into 1 plus 0 0.12 to the power 20 so 1.12 x to the power y 20 multiplied by 4 lakh so this is equal to 38 lakhs 58,517.23 rupees. So basically if you put 4 lakh rupees in a bank today, which is giving you 12% interest per annum, at the end of 20 years, you will have 38 lakhs 58,517 rupees. So basically as an analysis, you would do this calculation, not with 4 lakhs, but with the entire money of 5 lakhs, because 100,000 which you paid as cash payment could also be put in the bank at 12%. So if you put 5 lakhs, how much is the amount that you are going to get at the end of 20 years? And you would hope that the price of the house after 20 years is much higher than that amount.